the ABA pregame show. Keith Cameron along with Van Coleman. Happy you could join us here for the game of the week. Simulcasted across the country, across the world. Happy you could join us. We're here with the Kentucky Colonels head coach, Kevin Keithley, who took over about 10 days ago. Since then, the team is 2-1. and one. They're 4-6 and six overall. They're in the playoff hunt, and Kevin, so far, doing a great job. Certainly, it's good to be here. You guys, uh, like, like you said, started about 10 days ago. Uh, before that, I was serving as top assistant under Coach Bacon. Management decided we need to go in another direction. Uh, let's gladly step in, and uh, from there, we're 2-1. and one. We beat uh, Texas Tycoons, who was in the top of our conference. At one time, I believe they're 8-2 and two now, so that was a big win for us. Uh, a couple of nights ago, we played St. Louis at St. Louis. We did get beat by them, but at the same time, that was a good learning experience, building experience, and we're getting better one day at a time. So I'm happy where we're at right now. It's just getting better. That's what it's about. Now, one of the hardest things to do as you come in in the middle of the season is to implement your own offense or change some things. Have you done that so far? Certainly what we're trying to do, we're trying to keep some of the same things that they're doing. We don't want to overhaul the entire system because if we do that, players are, you know, it's just a situation. You want to keep them comfortable. You want to keep them in a situation where they want to succeed, where they know what they're doing. So what we're doing, we're tweaking some things. We're keeping a lot of things the same, but we will make adjustments as time go on, goes on. But right now we're just trying to make adjustments with personnel, with the lineups, and just trying to get some continuity going right now. Are you stressing defense more than you were before, perhaps? Certainly, that's what we want to talk about is, I talk to the guys every day, transition defense. Early on, that's kind of been our big problem is transi transition defense, going from offense to defense quickly. So that's something we're working on. And certainly offensively, we're looking to put more points on the board, and we've been doing that. So, yeah, defense is certainly an uh, uh, important, important component, certainly. You know, Coach, uh, one of the things you were talking about defense here, uh, you guys have been giving up 100 points a game. Uh, you need to get that down in about 95, 96. What, what's going to be the keys, the changes you're going to make to do that? Certainly, uh, yeah, you giving up 100 points a game, you don't want to do that, especially in this league. What we're trying to do, emphasize transition defense, get our big men back, get our guards back, get them talking, communicating defensively, because as most coaches know, as most anybody has been around the game knows, communication is where certainly is where you need to get it done at. You know, the last two weeks uh, we, were, we watched you guys uh, up in Nashville and uh, Antoine Barber and uh, Luke Whitehead are a big part of your offense. Uh, who's going to be that third guy? Who's going to step in and uh, give them the support you need to uh, build this team into a consistent winner? Well, certainly uh, that's what we were looking at. Where is that third guy going to come from? Where, where are we going to get that third option from? And what I did is I went to an old veteran we have on the team, David Scott. He's been around the league. He's, pl he's played overseas for many years. And right now he's doing a good job for us. He's stepped in. He's averaging about 12, 13 points right now. So he's giving us that extra boost in what we need. You know, inside, Jamie McNeil's done a nice job for you. And you've added a young man by the name of Jonathan Oden, yes. who's a, a real beast on the backboards. Has that really uh, helped you guys, uh, two and one down uh, since you made the switchover? Yeah, he has. Uh, what he does is gives us the inside presence, really good on the blocks. Um, but right now what we're trying to do is build, you know, move him into the lineup, get him uh, used to the players, get him used to what we're doing. We don't want to rush things with him. He's kind of, you know, he's still got a long ways, long ways to go with our offensive system. So we're moving him in slowly, but he's doing a heck of a job right now.